Welcome students. Let's begin with the chapter light, reflection and refraction. In this chapter, we will be discussing about different phenomena that light undergoes. You know, the, if you observe the thing around yourself, you can see the table, chair, you know, any other uh, equipments or uh, gadgets that are lying around you. How is it that you are able to see such objects? So, light, it plays a very important role in the uh, daily viewing of the objects. Suppose you enter in a dark room where there is no light, not uh, there is neither sunlight nor any artificial light from the bulbs or tube lights. In that scenario, you won't be able to observe or you won't be able to see what are the things lying around in the room. Therefore, the light, it enables us to live our life to the fullest because we are able to see the objects. So, we will understand how light enable us to see the objects and there are various phenomena that light undergo. Two of them are very uh, are discussed in very detail in this chapter. The one is reflection, the other is refraction. So, we will discuss in detail about both of the phenomena and the laws related to it and common examples that we observe in our daily life. Okay? So, let us begin with the introduction of the chapter. So, what is light? The first question that arises when you see you know in physics or in any subject for that matter if you encounter some new terms some new concepts just ask yourself what does it mean okay tell ask yourself and then answer yourself that what have you understand from that term okay so the first part is what exactly light is so light is a form of energy we've studied various form of energy right electricity is one such form Heat is one such form. Similarly, light is also a form of energy. Therefore, it will obey all the law that the energy obeys. Okay, So, it is a form of energy. Next question arises, what makes things visible? Okay. As we have, uh, you know, had a small uh, intro in the uh, in the beginning, that if you enter the dark room, you won't be able to see the objects. But when you enter in the loom, uh, room where you have light, then you are able to see all the object. So, what is it light doing to the object that enables us to see the uh, things around us? Let us look at this diagram over here. See, suppose there is an apple over here. Okay, now sunlight is falling on the apple and this apple is absorbing all the colors but it is only reflecting the red color okay the light has been reflected by the apple and that reflected light reaches our eyes and our eye can now see the apple but if you are in the dark room apple is lying there but the light is not falling and if the light is not falling it is not reflected and it is not reaching our eyes Okay, so this is how the things become visible with the help of light. So during the day, sunlight helps us to see the object. Okay, an object reflects the light that falls on it. Right, as in the case of apple, the light is falling on it and it is reflecting the light back. This reflected light when received by our eyes enables us to see things okay as we have discussed this now see there are number of common wonderful phenomena associated with light okay you know just imagine your life without light what it would be you we can't even imagine our life without light right so light has played so much such an important role that we are able to perceive things we are able to see things we can develop new things and the various phenomena that light undergoes hold special importance in our life therefore uh, the phenomena associated with the light such as image formation by a mirror the twinkling of stars the beautiful color of a rainbow bending of a light by a medium and so on these are the various phenomena that are associated with light. We shall be discussing 
the phenomena over here and some of the phenomena in the other chapter where we talk about dispersion where we talk about scattering of light over there also we'll understand now by observing the common optical phenomena around us we may conclude that light seems to travel in straight line if we restrict our discussion to the fact that light travels in the straight line then the observation of the phenomena can be easily explained okay one of the proof of this fact that light travels in the straight line is a simple experiment you take a lighted candle and you just see the uh, flame of the candle with the help of a straight straw okay in the second case just simply bend the straw and now try to view the flame of the candle you won't be able to view the flame of the candle it won't be visible to you from the bended straw therefore the light it only travels in the straight path in this bended form the light is not traveling okay however there is an important note over here that see in most of the discussion or in all the discussion that we are doing uh, in this chapter we will take that light travels in the straight path However when you go to the higher classes you will study phenomena such as diffraction where we see light is bending around the corners of the obstacle okay so there we have you know as the science progressed various experiments were conducted it was observed that light is bending okay there are phenomena but those are very special cases right see diffraction is not a very common phenomena there is special condition associated with diffraction if that condition is fulfilled then the light will bend and the condition is that you will study about all this in the higher classes if you go if you proceed ahead in the field of science then you will study all these interesting phenomena in your higher studies but for now just to be clear of the path of the light you should know that light does bend around the corner or light does you know there are cases where it is not traveling in the straight line but those are very special cases one of it is the diffraction where the you know the uh, the length of the obstacle has to be less than the length of the wavelength has to be less than the wavelength okay so uh, that's what it says an opaque object on the path of the light becomes very small okay very small then light has a tendency to bend around it and not walk in a straight straight line an effect known as diffraction of light so what is happening over here basically suppose you have a thin slit like this okay it's very minute and as soon as the light enters over here it bends or you have a very like you have a thin let's say slits like these it's so very thin just imagine if you are just imagine two blades right two blades are almost touching each other that much thin space uh, involves diffraction so in a very small you know obstacle light tends to bend then the straight line treatment of the optic using ray fails okay then we cannot use the straight line effect okay we have different uh, techniques to solve the problems of diffraction however they are not part of your syllabus so we're not going into the detail next to explain the phenomena such as diffraction light is thought to light is thought of as a wave okay see over here although although it is not a part of your syllabus but just to give you an uh, additional information for your interest light Uh, there was various various you know amount of research that has got into this to decide the nature of light so initially so newton uh, he thought that light is made up of particles right so when the light is entering a lot of particles are moving there so that he and with the help of the particle nature of the light he explained the phenomena of reflection refraction all these phenomena were explained by newton however when the scientist uh, you know they developed special apparatus they viewed they discovered the phenomena of diffraction interference polarization these phenomena were you know they cannot be explained from the particle nature of light then came the huygens theory which said that light behaves like a wave so these phenomena they are explained taking light as a wave and not as a particle 
However, if you go ahead in 1905, Albert Einstein he discovered photoelectric effect, and photoelectric effect was a very remarkable effect that led Einstein to think or conclude that light has a particle nature. So again, we went back to the Newton story. So there was a lot of confusion in the scientific community as to decide what is the nature of light, whether it is particle nature, wave nature. Then, with a uh, lot of deliberation, it was concluded that light has dual nature. Has dual nature. That means wave nature and particle nature. Okay. So light has both both type of nature. That was the conclusion. Okay.